Now I've printed out the template that we're going to use for this design and just onto thin paper like that. And then next what you want to do is also print out some background paper onto the card you're going to use. You've got various B background papers I'm using in this case for making this design. And what I've done here is just cut out roughly the design and just held it in position with a little bit of masking tape. I've printed onto this 120 card here and I've put a different design on each side. Now all you have to do then is you're going to fold this here so you do a, a crease down the middle. You can decide whichever side you want. You can do it this way. You use an embossing tool and you just crease right the way down from corner to corner. And then you take a scalpel and you actually cut all these sections. Now I've done one here already as you can see. I'll just put that to one side. There is the design which is cut out. All these sections here I've cut individually so it's just one side. Forget that side, just do one side. So that can now come off and then you take the first section and fold it over and you crease that like so and then you take the leave the next section take the section in between and you can crease that and then you end up with like a card which is freestanding and you can decorate any way that you want now I'm going to decorate this card with the 3DB so you print out the pages that you need and just cut them out and layer them using foam tape and you get a nice 3DB like that. You can varnish it if, if you so, so wish. So there's my card. I'm just going to stick that B onto there and you can open it up and stand it up and you've got your B card like that, but you'll see it better if I lay it down.